corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is the largest commissure of the brain. What is a commissure? The commissure is the interconnection between two identical cerebral hemispheres. The corpus callosum consists of about 100 million of fibers connecting the two cerebral hemispheres. Coming to the parts of corpus callosum. The corpus callosum consists of a genu, trunk or a body, splenium and a rostrum. In the sagittal section, the corpus callosum is seen as a C-shaped mass of white fibers on the medial surface of the cerebral hemispheres forming the roof of the lateral ventricle. These two are connected by a small septum called as septum pellucidum. The parts genu. The genu is a thick curved anterior part. This is the anterior part. Anterior part that lies 4 cm behind to the frontal pole. The frontal pole of the cerebrum. This is the frontal pole of the cerebrum. Here lies the genu. The genu lies 4 cm behind the frontal pole. The fibers of the genu are called as forceps minor. These connect the two, cerebr the two frontal lobes. The genu extends downwards and, and backwards to form a loop called as rostrum. The rostrum is the anterior prolongation of the genu. The trunk. The trunk is the main middle part of the corpus callosum that lies between the genu and the splenium. The trunk contains of fibers that connect the two parietal, parietal lobes. The splenium. The splenium lies 6 cm front of the occipital lobe. 6 cm front of the occipital lobe. It connects the two occipital hemispheres and the fibers form the forceps major. Forceps means folk like. And as these fibers are more in number, these are called as major. The functions of the corpus callosum are uh, the corpus callosum is largely responsible for the interhemispherical transfer of information, which is essential for the bilateral responses and the learning process. These fibers convey the both side information equally to the both hemispheres. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.